Hi, this is part two in the series of videos explaining about the Sword and Spear Ancient and Medieval Wargames rules. In this part I'm going to be looking at setup of the battlefield and deployment of the armies. Okay, so first of all we've got our empty battlefield, we've got our troops which we've put at the side's edge of the table ready to be deployed. We haven't got any terrain, so the first thing we need to do is get some terrain on the table. Now you might be playing a refight of a historical battle, in which case you would use the terrain that was actually there, as, as far as you can um, figure that out from the historical sources. Uh, you could be doing some other scenario that you've come up with. But a common way to play is on sort of equal points pitched battle, uh, and then there are rules within the book for setting up the table. Assuming you're going to be playing an equal points pitched battle using the setup rules from the book, I'm going to explain how that works and how we set up the battlefield. We're going to use the same armies we were looking at in the previous video, Macedonians against Persians. So each player takes two dice and rolls the two dice, and that gives you the minimum and maximum number of terrain pieces you can place. So let's roll for the Persians, and they get one and five, so they can place between one and five features. And the Macedonians roll, and they get one and three, so they can place between one and three terrain features. Now the Persians have got more medium foot who are more at home in, in difficult terrain, so the Persians are going to probably want more. So let's say the Persians decide they're going to go for a village, um, a piece of rough ground, and two hills. And the Macedonians just goes for the minimum one, they're just going to go for a piece of rough ground. Okay, so now what we do, we roll for each piece of terrain in turn to see where it will go on the battlefield. And there is a table in the book, so we're looking at a pre-game setup section of the rule book, where there's a, a table which shows you where each piece goes, and then it can get adjusted after that placement. So we'll just quickly go through placing a couple of these pieces. So let's say the Persian player will go first because he's got more pieces. So we're going to roll for his difficult ground, his, his rough ground here. He rolls one dice and gets a five. And that tells him the opponent can choose where that goes. So the Macedonian player is going to take that piece of terrain and put it over here, out of the way somewhere. And then we roll, let's keep these out of the way. We roll another piece to see if it gets moved, another dice to see if it gets moved, and that is going to not, that says no change. So we've placed that piece. And we carry on with all the pieces like that. The Macedonian player goes next, he takes his piece of rough terrain, rolls the dice to see where it goes. And that's also going to be the opponent's choice, in which case the Persian player chooses. So let's say the Persian player decides to put that there. Then we make an adjustment roll. And the adjustment roll tells us that the other player who didn't place it can remove that piece of terrain. So the Alexandrian player, the Macedonian player, is going to say, I don't want that terrain there, I'm going to remove it. And then we go, the Persian player places his next, but let's hope we don't get a five again and actually we get a two. That is the right table edge. So the Persian player puts it on his right table edge over there, and then we roll an adjustment roll, and that four means that that is moved in five distance units from the edge of the table. Yeah. Okay, so we've got comes in five. And we proceed for all the other pieces, and we've got our table set up. So now we've got our table set up with all of our terrain features on it. We have a scouting, um, uh, a scouting mechanism where we decide who's going to deploy first. Now, as we'll see a little bit later, we need a coloured dice that goes in a dice bag for each unit in the army. We've got the blue dice for the Persians and the red dice for the Macedonians. So we're going to be using these dice to activate units during our turn, but they're also used for scouting. So each player secretly takes some of these dice, so he secretly takes, he takes his dice, and he secretly bids some of these dice for scouting. Okay, so this is the Alexandrian player is going to secretly bid some dice. The Persian player is going to secretly bid some dice. And then what we're going to do is add on the number of light horse units we've got, which is actually going to be one for each army in this case. So let's say, as an example, the Alexandrian player bids three dice, and the Persian player bids five dice of their action dice, these are called, they're going to be used to activate units. So there's our scouting bids. They're both adding one because they've both got one unit of light horse. So that means the Persian is on six, the Alexandrian is on four, so the Persian player has outscouted the Alex Alexandrian player, the Macedonian player. We're going to put these dice to one side because they're not going to be used in the first turn of the game. All these other dice we're going to put in, the, in this bag, which are going to be used straight away to activate units once we start. 
Now the Persian player outscouted the Macedonian player. That means the Macedonian player deploys first in each phase. There are three deployment phases. So in the first deployment phase, we deploy our camp and our heavy foot. So the Alexandrian player has to deploy his heavy foot first. Okay, so we're going to deploy our heavy foot, um, probably just deploy all of our pikes in a big pike phalanx in the center of the table. That would be normal. As we can see in the rule book, we have a deployment area shown like this. So we have a deployment area. We have to deploy more than four distance units from the center of the table. So if that's the center line, we have to come back a little bit. More than four from the center of the table and more than six DU from the edges of the table. So you can't deploy right up to the middle or right up to the edges. But we can deploy, if there's a center line, we deploy four DU behind that. So we deploy all of our heavy foot and our camp. And once we've deployed all of our heavy foot and our camp, the Persian player will do the same. So we've deployed our heavy foot, we've finished our first deployment phase, deploying our heavy foot on both sides and our camps. In the next phase of the deployment, we deploy everything else except for light troops. So we're going to deploy our cavalry. So the Macedon again, the Macedonians were out scouted, they, they bid the least dice in the scouting. Um, phase. So the Macedonians deploy their, their medium cavalry, we're going to deploy the Thracians, Thracian medium foot, and we're going to deploy our elephants. Let's put our elephants up here on the hill, hoping to face some Persian cavalry, and we're going to deploy our other medium cavalry there. Then the Persians are going to do the same and deploy all of their medium foot and cavalry. Yeah. Now we've finished the second phase of deployment, so we've deployed our Cavalry and our medium foot on both sides. So we've got our Persian medium foot here, we've got Persian to this end here, and we've got our cavalry on both ends of the line. So pretty standard deployment. And then both sides will deploy their lights. So um, we're going to deploy our light cavalry. The Macedonians will deploy our light cavalry here. And uh, we need to make sure we don't deploy within six of the six distance units of the table edge. So we'll deploy our light foot over here, ready to make a run for it into the rough terrain over there. And on the Persian side, they're going to deploy their light cavalry over here, hoping to outflank the Macedonians. And we deploy our generals at this stage, our commanders at this stage as well. So we deploy our three Persians. have got three commanders here. And... Macedonians seem to only have two commanders, so we've got our general um, over here, and let's have our general over here, and our captain over here. So we deploy, we've finished all the deployment now, and that means we are ready to start, and in the next video we'll talk about how the game is actually played.